Sir Wart. Super Smash Brothers is coming out on the Switch this year. And you know what that means? I do a video that everyone has already done. Today's countdown will be my top 10 most wanted Super Smash Brothers characters. Without further ado, let's dive in. If you notice one thing about Super Smash Brothers and Super Mario, Sakurai is good at implementing something from a previous or current Mario game, with it being a stage, moveset, and a new character. Super Mario Odyssey should be totally referenced in the next installment. I know people want Cappy of Mario's movesets, but I feel like Pauline would make a nice new Mario rep despite there already being a large amount of Mario reps in Super Smash Bros. It would be a better pick than Daisy in my opinion. Her main outfit would be the suit she wears in Odyssey, and her custom skins would be her original outfit. It would be difficult to give her a moveset since she's never been playable in any Mario game, but I feel like she'd make a good addition to Super Smash Bros. Switch since she is important to Super Mario history. Pokemon is a game franchise that was a really big part of my childhood. I played most of the Pokemon games until I couldn't afford a DS or a 3DS. Despite there being a good amount of Pokemon for Smash Brothers, I feel like there's still room for a few more. But if I had to choose a Pokemon character, it would be Meowth. Yeah, people would be like, with Schnobs, Meowth was already a support Pokemon. But come on! Charto started out as a support Pokemon, and look where he is now. It would be cool to have a Pokemon character with dialogue. Plus, his moveset would be freaking easy. You can have his neutral be Payday. His side B Fury Swipes, his up B Pounce, and his down B Leer. As for a final smash, that would be up to Sakurai. I feel like it's time to have a cat character in Super Smash Bros. It was even rumored that he was almost in Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 64. 64. Zelda has five reps in Super Smash Bros. so far. Three originals and two clones. But we need at least another Zelda rep, and that character should be Kirahim. On a side note, I'm not the hugest Zelda fan, but I do enjoy a few games. Despite Skyward Sword's broken controls, I really like the ambience of the game. The most memorable part of it was Kirahim. I found him to be a brilliant villain. He's creepy, he's fabulous, strong, and he has an epic theme. <laughs> <laughs> he has so much he can do with his moveset. Neutral B, he shoots those weird diamond thingies. The side B would be a counterattack that ricochets projectiles. Up B, like the teleport he does. The down B would be that ring fire. Final Smash would be his final form. I know Smash Bros. is filled with Swordsman's characters, but I wouldn't mind at least one more. Come on! Metroid's only had one representative since the beginning. I see all of you in the comments section right now saying, Sakurai said, Ridley is too big and it wouldn't work. Maybe he is, but look at the melee intro. Look at the melee intro. Ridley is almost the same height as Bowser. Also, Bowser is not his regular height in Smash Brothers. Olimar isn't his regular height in Smash Brothers. Pikachu isn't his regular height in Smash Brothers. My point is that it wouldn't hurt Ridley to alter his height. Ridley can have a unique move set. He has been requested numerous amounts of times. And it would be perfect timing since Metroid Prime 4 is on the horizon. It would be a good way to promote it with the addition of Ridley in Super Smash Bros. for the Switch. I know this character is super duper extremely unlikely. But my gal Ajina should journey into Nintendo Smackdown. Yes, I understand Indivisible hasn't been released yet, but it was announced and it's almost making its way to the Switch. That's one thing I feel like Smash needs, an indie video game character. I know Shovel Knight, Freddy, and Flippin' Freakin' Sans are most wanted as indie reps, but those would just be too predictable. It would be nice if Sakurai surprised us in the next game, Ajna has an arsenal of movesets that she can use. If any indicator gets in the smash, it would be a floodgate that'd be opened up to possibilities. 
It also would be an excellent way to promote Indivisible. Play the demo. The game's pretty good so far. I'm definitely going to get it. Donkey Kong needs more reps. I know people want Dixie Kong and the rest of the Kongs, but King K. Rool would be an amazing choice. But he has a very low chance since his last appearance was a flippin' baseball game. One of the things that bothers me with Smash Bros. is that it lacks a large amount of villains. We mostly have anti-heroes instead of more villains. I'm looking at you, Dark Pit. King K. Rool is a character important to Donkey Kong Country history. Yeah, he might be another reptile villain, but you have a bunch of games that can create a creative moveset for him. Plus, we were actually kind of close to getting him. He was a skin for a Mii fighter. The fact that King K. Rool was at least a Mii costume showed that Sakurai and Nintendo acknowledge our request for our reptilian king. Seriously, I was expecting this character to be in the first Super Smash Bros. It just seemed logical, but yet, it is only a dream still. But now, the chances are even higher since Phil Spencer, who's the head of Xbox, still has an interest in the duo of making the Smash Switch. I certainly want them in there. Now their moveset would be the easiest to do. People in the comments would be like, Mwah, Gabriel, that would just be a Duck Hunt clone. How? Let's get them things straight. How is a bear that wears yellow shorts with a four foot red bird in his backpack that shoots eggs at all similar to a dog with a duck on his back that throws explosive cans, tosses frisbees, and summons cowboys? Anyways, despite Banjo Kazooie not having a game in almost 10 years, in my opinion, he's iconic enough to be in Smash. I feel like this is the year for Banjo Kazooie since it is close to his 20th anniversary. Come on, Rare. Don't let us down. If you got good old garlic-eating Wario, then you need his trusty bro, the Kings of Wah. Waluigi. Seriously, why isn't he in a single Super Smash Bros. game as a playable character? He is a character important to Mario Sports games history. He's got personality, he's smooth, and he is Waluigi. I don't care what moveset he has, Sakurai. I just want him in Smash. Seriously, he needs to be in there. Nintendo and Ubisoft are pals again. After the release of Mario and Rabbids crossover, the floodgate opened to many possibilities. Like Rayman beating Super Smash Brothers, for example. I thought he was going to be in Smash 4. I mean, come on. He has a flippin' trophy for Hydra's sake. Why would they have a trophy of a third-party character that is not playable? But anyways, Rayman is an iconic video game character that has stood the test of time. His moveset should be from the first three games and also from the Legends slash Origin series. I was salty when I found out that the leak was fake, but for real, he should be in the next edition to Smash, even if the amiibo would look like garbage. Here is a little something I like to call Honorable Mentions. World hunger. Nuclear proliferation. Reality TV. None of those horrors compared to... Ball deprivation. Made you look. Even though I've only been playing the Kingdom Hearts series for almost three years, this game series really stuck to me like glue. The game mechanics and animation is amazing. Sora has a unique amount of moves that he can use for a move set. But what would make this awesome is that if he got into Super Smash Brothers, he would be the first Disney representative. But I bet the licensing and copyright stuff would be a nightmare since Sora is technically both Disney and Square. 
what is a slightly possibility since Nintendo and Square are on good terms. Having ideas for a spicy video? Comment below for ideas. Be sure to subscribe for more videos that will be uploaded every other week or every other month. I don't know. Also, follow me on my other social medias and also click the little bell button so you won't miss my videos when they are first uploaded. I hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you and have a fantastic day.